Hello and welcome to this lecture about how to use SW Maps. SW Maps is a GPS application allows you to collect your geographic data. So using this app you can mark point, record your track, share your data as well as importing and visualizing your JICE data like KML, ship file, JSON and more. So now we download and install this application. So you click on Play Store, so open the Play Store app. And then you go to search box and search SW Maps. So, so you type SW Maps JICE and Data Collector. So, so here and you click on install icon for SW Maps JICE and Data Collector. So install it. So once the application is installed, so click on open. So click while you use the app, as well as you can click on only this time or don't allow. It's depending on you. So now let me present you the interface of this application. So, so here we have S my SW Maps project one so this project is created by default so here we have in this icon we have layers so here from here you can modify the background map so here by default Google terrain is added so you can change it so by Google Maps Google satellite or Google hybrid or open street map data so let's for example click on Google satellite Alright, so the background map is changed. So here we have the map layers. So you can add or create your map layers by clicking on this plus icon. And here we have some choice to modify the map layer. You have ship file, GeoJSON, KML, or WMS. So we will see that after. So once you modify the background map, so we click on this icon. And here we have this sample for recording your track. So once you click on it, and here you can select record feature or record track. So, so you click on record track and you start working or moving. So you will record your path. All right so here in this three points so once you click on it so we have projects so click on project and here click on add button so then you click on this box and give your project a name for example need for geek All right so and then you can here import layer from so you can import an existing data if you if you have that so then once you do so you click on this icon and click on create new project so now you can delete this default project project one all right so then click on this and here we have this icon which is very important and it is the main object of this lecture so we click on this pen icon and here we have draw tool is pop up so click on yes then here you give the layer a name so you can keep it layer one or you can modify it, it name so for example let's create, let's create or give it a name of samples all right and here for geometry type so we have three choice so we have point line and polygon so point to mark point station or uh, places a line so here to mark some uh, some subject uh, in line format like uh, a road like 
track, like, like walls and more. So polygon, so here to draw a shape, all right? So let's select point. And here we have geometry sample, so you can click on it to modify the geometry sample. So here we have circle, and so you can explore that. All right, so once you do, so you click on add. Okay, so now let's click again on this uh, blue icon, and here a set of, uh, of, of options are enabled. So here we have to add point, so to mark point, so let's click on add point, so add point is in green color, so that means it is enabled. So now let's zoom to the area that we want to mark it as well as you can enable this icon so to go to your place where we, you are now so let's just zoom to an, an area and we will sh just to show you how to mark a point so for example here so you click on add point so you enable that this point so this point is in green color and you just start hit the place that you want to mark so you click on it so it is marked so let's click on the second house or second place that you want to mark and you do that for all the point that you want to mark all right so to delete point if you make some error or something like this so you just click on delete point so the delete point is enabled in red color so and you click on the point that you want to delete so click on yes okay so as well as you can add coordinate so if you have coordinate of a location so you can mark them so you click on this add so and you add the x y and and z if you have it so it's optional for z so you just type x and y and here you select the project series so you have to know the project series so by def and by default is wgs 84 geographic so you keep it as it is so uh, now we, i want to show you other feature so we have two icons so this one to calculate the area days and this one to calculate the length so let's select on let's click on this icon to calculate the area and then you draw so let's repeat so you select this one and you click on the area border so so just for example so you create a point and by connecting this point you will calculate the area so for example here we have the area and the perimeter of this area all right so then you just click on this one it will be deleted and this icon to calculate the length so for example and here we have the length of this part of this road all right so then we have this icon to zoom out and to zoom in and this icon or this arrow to rotate the map so it's okay so that is all about this application so you can explore and find more so we have other icon for importing so as i told you that so to create a georeferenced geo images so or to take a picture with the with coordinate system so you just click on this icon and here for example i have this area that i want to mark it so you just click on all right so you click on this one and here we have the coordinate system of this 
picture so you click on save and the image is saved with the coordinate system so with x and y and z data so thank you for watching and see you in next next video